Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are returning, hi my name's Rosie. I hope you are well. How is everybody? How is all doing? Um, if you're new to my channel, guys, a little bit of useless information. 9,000 of you return to my channel every week and watch my content, but 9,000 of you don't subscribe. Could you imagine if you did? That would be absolutely amazing. I would have so many friends. So yeah, if you haven't already and you are new to my channel, please subscribe. It's yeah, free, cost you nothing. And if you fancy a chat, I'm in the comments. I'd really like to get to know you and have you on this journey with me. Um, also, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little bit premature, but it just helps me understand what videos you guys prefer and stuff. And I'm also over on Instagram if you'd like to give me a following over there. I generally upload my stories daily. So, yeah. Um, how is everybody doing? As I was saying before, I have been a busy little bee today. I'm not doing a weekly vlog. I do apologise, my lovelies. I just, honestly, I've been so busy this week. I haven't had the time. And to be honest, I'm like decorating and things. I've been shopping to buy bits and pieces. We're going to be in queue. Just, I mean, I don't know if any of you guys would be interested in like that kind of, um, just seeing me decorating and stuff and seeing what I'm up to. I've been to Primark today. So today is a Primark haul. Um, but I thought we could have like a little catch up with us. I'd have a little catch up with you as well. Um, I've been decorating. I've started my stairs finally. My house is an absolute tip. Um, you know, and it's like it, it just looks like a building site. We've got new doors sitting ready, waiting to be fitted. We've got like obviously, I'm um, trying to get the hallway done and the stairs, like the landing and stuff. So all that needs sort and so if you walk out that door i was going to put some up on my instagram yesterday but i thought you know what I, I, I don't know i'll just leave it i think i'll wait to see like the reveal first once it's done and then i'll do it um because yeah it's if you, if i walk out that door it's just an absolute mess so a bit of primark i am going to do a little bit of a try on i think um because i've got a couple of bits and pieces that i want to see anyways I have spent about £100, but then I nipped into River Island as well. I'm absolutely loving River Island at the minute. And Primark, to be honest, I've got some really, really nice bits in. I'm quite gutted, though, because in all fairness, like, I think, is it Eva? What is this lady called? Pat, oh gosh, I can't even say that. It's the way they've pronounced it. But anyways, yeah, they've got a new collab out with, I think, one of the um, ladies that they collab with quite often. Um, but I can't I, I can't say her name. And she's got some really etchy... Etch, 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 uh, I'll show you it in a minute, because normally I'll kill it. I'll absolutely kill it. Um, she's got some really nice bits out, I think, for like summer and stuff. Um, but a lot of it in my Primark was sold out. So yeah, the couple of bits that I did pick up, I really want to try them on. I had a few bits to take back last week. The, if you see my last Primark haul and stuff, it was a suit. I haven't even got, I mean, I, I've been very good and I haven't got a Primark bag. So I'm going to have to nick one of my old photos um, just to kind of like, you know, for the thumbnail or get like a decent thumbnail and stuff so I can put it up stuff because I've recycled this bag so many times and everything's in here that I'm literally just pulling everything out um, so I don't like kind of like it's it's not all going to crinkle and stuff because I think yeah we'll, we'll do a try on um, so yeah kids wise um, Jaden we've got an appointment for Jaden or oh, we're waiting for an update for Jaden because he's been sent over to um, Newcastle Hospital, I think, for Royal Victoria, because he has, for those of you that are new to my channel, my son Jaden is autistic and he also has um, scoliosis of the spine. Um, it's now, it, it's actually gotten worse. Um, so we're waiting for updates for that. So we're just waiting, I think the appointments come through today actually, so hopefully um, we will have that sorted. And then we're also now in the process of the school want to test Lexi for autism. Um, just because there's a couple of bits and pieces that with Lexi that sometimes I don't know for a long time something's not she's quite she's very quiet 
is, is Lexi. Um, but the school are concerned that she's possibly on the spectrum. Um, I don't know. Girls mask it differently, didn't they? I mean, in fairness, you know, the thought Marley was on the spectrum. And with Marley, they've kind of like, her behaviour has improved 100%. She is absolutely... She's turning into a very, very clever young little lady. And, uh, you know, she's just... I don't know, I'm really proud by the last six months, like her behaviour's done a whole one 360. And I don't want to jinx anything, touch wood, but yeah, she's she's doing so much better. And it came back that she wasn't on the spectrum, and they don't think that she's on the spectrum, but now obviously they think that Lexi is. Um, and for any parents out there with children, and I know there's quite a few of you guys with, with children, or young adults that are on the spectrum, um, that are neurodiverse it's, it's kind of like it's it's a long process and it's just yeah um we'll just have to wait and see just one of those things so primer for 100 pounds other than that i haven't really i'm just i'm trying to get my house sorted in so, so anyways but let, i mean let me know if you'd like to see it in a blog in a blog like house updates that kind of thing um other than that i've been to primark and yeah Took a few bits back, got a few more extra bits, spent about £100. I am going to do a little bit of a try-on because I know um, somebody commented a couple of weeks back on one of my um, videos that I don't, that they were quite disappointed because I didn't do a try-on. I don't always do try-on sometimes, I, as I explained the last time, I don't always have time to do try-ons and stuff, but I will do a try-on today, I will try. This, my lovelies, if it's not up and edited tonight, it is Friday, it will be up and edited for Saturday because I'm at work over the weekend. So I'm tending to, if I've got any videos and things like that to do, I now have to do all my content through the week and then get it uploaded and stuff for either today or the weekend um, unless I'm on holiday or something. Um, and I'm not tomorrow, I am on a 28 hour shift over the weekend. If that makes sense, I'm doing two, four, I do two 14 hour shifts. I am, um, for anybody that is curious and stuff, I am now a senior support worker and I didn't end up taking the home care job. I gave the car back, um, sold my car, ended up giving the car back though and staying where I was as a cleaner, but because obviously I've got previous experience and stuff, I was offered a new position as a senior support worker, which I said, well, I kind of accepted. So yeah, I've now, I do like two 14 hour shifts on the weekend and stuff. So that's an update for on that. If anybody is, you know, curious, um, I know for a little while I've been saying that I'm gonna like update you and stuff and I never do, because I always forget, because I've always got that much going on up here. Is anybody else like that, that, you know, and, and I always want to tell you, it's like, I've got so much to tell you and stuff, and then it just never happens, and I'm like, because I forget, um, because I get carried away with one thing, and then I've got more coming at us, and I'm just like, oh my god, so, yeah, and I'm also going to be studying for, um, a higher level of, um, my degree with social care, so that's something else that's probably going to take up quite a bit of my time as well and um, anyways i'm gonna shut up let's just get into this haul so i picked up cargos cargo shorts for me hubby because summer is coming and primark as i said i need to stop saying as i said i am sorry primark again yeah summer's coming and he needs some new bits for summer and i just thought these are like the cargo shorts really nice um Where's the zip? Zip pocket. Just got them in the neutral colour, like a beige. And these were, I picked these up in an extra large. Got the tie as well on there. And these were £16. They've got them in other colours as well. They've got them in like blue. I think I spotted them in grey. Um, but they, they feel really good quality as well. Um, they're just like the cargo pants, I think. And they've got pockets. Um, and they're quite a thick material as well, so they're not see-through or anything like that. Um, in all fairness, I've seen so much in Primark that, as per usual, story of my life, when I'm not shopping, shopping, like, there's loads and loads of bits and pieces. 
and then when I am shopping for stuff I don't see anything and then I see all this great stuff online on my insta stories and stuff and I can never find it in my Primark does anybody else have that problem because I mean I, I you know is it just me is it just my Primark that's not very good um but I must admit I've gone in today and there was quite a few new bits in but some of the stuff that I wanted but I can order online and I keep forgetting that I can order online I just picked up some NYX these are for Lexi um age 10 to 11 I usually get Lexi's stuff out of like her underwear and stuff out of next um but these were a pack of 10 and they were only five pounds and I used to get Primark underwear for them but it doesn't last very long so I'm hoping that this maybe it's changed I don't know normally after a couple of washes like the elastic on here starts to kind of like fray and stuff um so I'm hoping it's a little bit different this time but anyways for 10 pairs of briefs five pounds I will see what happens I'll see how we get on with them um Primark what would Primark be without pajamas again I picked up I've got the blue ones in these and they're so soft I love them and they do these in like um green and then I think a black. Um, I haven't got like a beige colour. I'd like it if they did a beige colour. I mean, they probably do, just not in my Primark. Um, and then they've got like some other ones, new ones in, but they're shorts. They're not like the pants. These are these are the trousers. I got the trousers. These, the other ones are like in the shorts, but they've got them in grey and stuff. And I think they've got a new one in this, which is white, but it looked like they kind of had like blue. What looked to me to be. I think they were meant to be like some sort of flower or something, but they just looked like um, like snowflakes. Um, yeah, I was a bit confused because it's now we're hitting summer. Anyways, I went with pink this time. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get some more. I'm going to have a collection of these because I absolutely love them. And they're just button. As they do. Um, I got picked them up in a medium because I like my pyjamas to be quite oversized. For reference, I am five foot three. Um, a little short ass as one of you guys called us um, and then yeah uh, size 12 to 14 in Primark 15 pounds 50% recycled polyester but I like my pyjamas to be bigger I don't like them to be like hugging us you know where they're too tight and stuff so I tend to go up a size but I am between I'm gonna say it depends on where I shop, what I, what, what kinds of like time of the month it is, where I've just eaten and stuff. Um, I can be anywhere between, I'm going to say an eight, if it's kind of like got like an elasticated waist or even an extra small. And then sometimes I'll buy like a 14 to 16, depending how it fits and how I want the fit. So when people like, I mean, I can say to, for a better idea, normally between a 10 to 12 at the moment. Um, but it is just yeah depends it is what it is um this is a little dress for lexi i seen it and i thought you know what i hope she likes it i hope she's gonna like it it's a little denim dress and summer and spring is coming in and lexi doesn't have a lot of dresses left because what i bought her last year now doesn't fit her uh, i got 11 to 12 and it was 10 pounds dropping bits it was 10 pounds if the camera goes blurry, I do apologise. I will try and check it, obviously, through as I'm editing and stuff. Um, but it tends to focus on my fingers or it focuses on one thing. Um, I've had it for a little while, but, yeah, I do apologise if anything kind of goes out of focus. So, yeah, and it just ties here. It's got, like, a little belt. I don't know whether she'll use the belt or not, but I think she'll like it. And it just buttons up the front. And it's cute it's like a little airline skirt it's not like a straight like denim it's like a little airline if you can see just the way it goes yeah it's like a little airline dress and i need to stop saying airline because i do have it i have a half oh no i can't get my words out i do have an awful habit of that um this in fairness was another accidental haul i went to get a few bits and pieces exchange a few bits and pieces and then i just yeah i, I get carried away um, I keep telling myself I'm going to stop shopping in Primark, but I can't help it. And this is for Marley. It's just a little, like, bralette top kind of thing because they tend to all wear those little belly tops, don't they? Um, and this was 
it's about four pounds. It was three pounds fifty. She can wear it for bed. She can wear it as a top. Um, extra small, and it is a size. I've got I've, I've got cream in my eyes. I put um cream on this morning. I've got cream in my eyes. It's a six to eight. I probably should have got the extra extra small, but I couldn't find at that time. I just grabbed that one. It should be all right because it'll probably shrink as it's being washed. Um. Yeah, I got some new skincare and it's like the La Roche Posay. It's the um it's got like B3, B12 or something like that vitamin in it and it's um retinol. Now I'm scared of retinol. I just thought I would <laughs> I would say this. But I've used it three times now. I'm kind of like, you know, gradually getting my skin used to it and I've used it three times now and it's actually it's all right. I thought I was going to maybe like have um, some kind of like, I was hoping I wasn't yeah going to have like, be like really sensitive to it and stuff. But I, I'm putting um, SPF as well. SPF 50 on. That's La, Ro La Roche Posse as well. And that's actually really good. I've been using that for a while. But <clears throat> it have habit. I just like I over put and I just put loads on and then it goes into my eyes like the way I do it. And then I can't bloom in see. Um, and when I'm trying to like see things and stuff, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mesh, and, but I, I I think I need to go and get my eyes tested again. Um, just a little like belly top kind of like cut off mid mid rift kind of thing. <laughs> Obviously, it's not for me. My skin belly days whatever skin belly yeah. Uh, Possibly over. I don't mind a little bit of skin, but too much, and I'm like, eh. no. I think my my skin days are finally over. Um, in fact, not they were over a while ago, to be honest. Uh, this is a two XS. This is yeah, a two XS, and it was eleven pounds, and it's a four to six. Now that's the size that I should have got in the top, but obviously I've not realised um, when I've picked it up and stuff. I always do it. Always do it. it's because I start to rush around because I th I start to like think of the time and stuff. And in fairness. It's lunchtime and I've done it again. I've had no lunch. I'm absolutely starving. I'm I can I like I can hear my belly rumbling. Um I nipped into my sister's because she's not being well and I thought I'll go see how she's doing and stuff because I've not seen her for a little while. And all I can hear is my tummy just churning away, rumbling away. So yeah, I need to get something to eat after I've done this. Um which I will do. What's everybody else having for the lunch today? Are you having anything nice? I know um, a couple of you guys say that you don't actually eat lunch. I mean, in all fairness, I've lost... I tend to eat better when my husband's at home because, yeah, he's a feeder <laughs> than I do when I'm on my own. When I'm on my own, I don't really eat too much. But, yeah, this is really cute. And it is... It just says, it's, if you can see there... Los Angeles, it says Los Angeles, so yeah, £11, that's for Marley, because she likes to wear all that kind of stuff, and even if I buy her like a normal size jumper and stuff, she, she'll fold it up and it goes up under here, um, and I just think, do you know what, so I'm, like, I'm going to start looking for bits and pieces that are just kind of like cropped anyways, what's the point, so... That's the bits and pieces that I picked up for the kids. The other bits I've got now, we will, as promised, I'm, I'll do a little bit of a try on and then we can both see what they look like. Um, and I can see whether or not... I'm just taking these off that little tripod. I can see whether or not I like them. These are, aren't they pretty? Like they've, they've got like thistles and stuff on them and whatever. Um, I do like fresh flowers, but as you can see, I think I've done that. They're a little bit worse for wear, bless, um, by forgetting about them and leaving them in the car. So I'm going to get rid of that. Just pop that down there. So I think I've killed my flowers. I've done so much to them. I've definitely, definitely, I've definitely damaged my flowers. Because um, normally Tesco's flowers tend to last a little bit longer. Um, but yeah. £10, I mean you can't go wrong for £10 for some flowers and they're actually really really pretty and I love roses, roses and lilies, lilies are my favourite flower, I know some people say that like lilies are like a deaf flower, I'm just going to move this table, 
So once again, we are in the living room. So if I do the Primark bits first, and then I'll do the River Island bits, because um, I wanted some, I wanted some new jeans. I think I literally own one pair. Oh, sort that out properly. Looking in the viewfinder so I get it off. Yeah, jeans. I think I own literally like one pair of jeans and that's my Levi's. Um, oh, tell a lie, I've got a pair of Sarah jeans as well, but I'm not too keen on them. Um, I don't know. At the time, you know, when you buy something and you like it and you think, oh yeah, that's all right, but then I'm not too keen on them. And I like River Island jeans. I think they're really, really cool. Um, so I went to River Island and I bought bits and pieces from River Island, but I have Primark. Got a few. Look at this. This is absolutely, I love it. It's stunning. I love these kind of like um, tea dresses, but I never ever can find one that looks half decent on us i think i've got one a blue one upstairs and i've had it for years and i got it from next and it's absolutely i love it and i won't part with it and like i fluctuate with my weight and stuff um and at the moment i have put a little bit of weight on so which i am very aware of um i do apologize if this is kind of triggering for anybody or it upsets anyone i don't mean to but this is just my personal journey my personal experience and stuff and i've kind of um i want to lose a little bit of weight to kind of like get back into just like health wise for me um because i had a little bit of a scare a couple of weeks ago it wasn't me but I was given some bad news and it just kind of made, like made me aware of everything and stuff. So I am just trying to be a bit more healthy and stuff. Um, it's just really hard because I love food and yeah, like trying to, um, about, I'm going to say a year or so ago, but it'd be two years now. I went, I, I sized down from 11 stone. It took six months, but I got down to nine stone. It was a lot of work, um, a lot of commitment and stuff from the gym well with the gym and things and I was really proud of myself but as you do you know you kind of fall back into it was Christmas and you fall back into food so you put a bit more weight on anyways I mean I'm happy in myself with the way I look and things but then I'm not if that makes sense because I tend to carry my weight around my middle and um my thighs so in fairness it means that I go up a size and I bloat really easily as well so when I should be like a size 10 normally everywhere else my waist is actually like a 12 to a 14 it just depends on what I'm eating and things at the moment I am between a 10 and a 12 so I just want to kind of you know get back to that and I'm hoping that I've picked this up in a 12 and it is 18 pounds um, and I'm hoping that it's gonna like look and kind of sit okay. So we will try this on and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, pretty. Right, again, guys, I don't have a mirror. <laughs> it's actually back in the hallway because I've had to move everything around again because I'm decorating the hallway and the landing and stuff. Well, not so much the hallway at the moment, it's the landing and the stairs because I'm redecorating all that. I've had to move everything out of it, so oh, it's a little bit itchy. Oh, um, I thought this was going to be, I think this is meant to be like a linen, like tea kind of dress. And I love it, I love the style, but it's a little bit itchy. So I would maybe want to put like a vest, just remind me, bra. I would maybe want to put like, because that actually looks quite cute, that doesn't it? Like with a little like vest kind of shown up underneath it, a little bit of lace. I love that look. Um, I actually like it. This is the 12 and it fits just nicely. I didn't know whether or not I would. I'm going to... Ah, I like it. It's very, very pretty. Excuse the socks, guys. I've got so much socks on. <laughs> um, oh, no, I like it. It's got no pockets and I've got black underwear on at the moment. Can you see my knickers through that? Now well, this is the question, is it see-through? I mean, in fairness, you could wear, like, white knickers or 
skin coloured knickers with this and you would probably I don't know I don't know if you can see that I'll check it back through when I'm editing but I like this and I think it's really pretty with a nice little pair of hang on, with a nice pair of sandals or something I think I've just found a little pretty summer dress what do we think guys yes or no let me know in the comments because you guys are very very honest and yeah I'm sure you'll tell me whether or not it actually looks nice or not but I like it and it kind of yeah it's not tight it's kind of got plenty of oh I like it apart from the fact that it's a little bit itchy but I'm thinking I could possibly I could deal with that I could sort that out maybe once it's been washed it'll soften up a little bit because it's like linen oh, I love it absolutely love it ah I think we have a winner guys but let me know what you think in the comments next dress this one, I tried something similar onto this last year, and I'm sure I did from Primark. Um, they do this in the black as well. They also do this one in the blue. Um, I, did, I wasn't sure about the blue, but uh, was it green? It was more. No, it was more of a greeny colour. Um, but the flowers were a lot bigger. But this one, I actually really like this. This this is me, definitely. And I think with my hair, yeah, and a nice little pair of sandals and a nice, a nice bag. Let me know. Because I like it. Um, yeah, anyways, I tried something similar onto this last year in Primark. I'm sure I did. And it just looked wrong. Um, I didn't end up keeping it. I think I think I put it back on the hanger. Um, but yeah, this is just like, like a summer dress. Linen again. And this is part of, it's Paula Echevarria. I hope I've said that properly. If I haven't, I do apologise. But it's part of her collab, her new collab her summer collab with them and this is actually such a pretty dress and they do it in um it buttons all the way down if you can see no you can't see it buttons all the way down to about here so you've got like a little split um not too much and then it's kind of like an airline dress so which is really really pretty now it's got this type of like a rattan belt with it but i'm sure take this off you put your own belt with it you don't have to keep this belt um so we'll try it on i've picked this up in a size 10 it might not fit i might need to take it back and get the 12 we'll see how it goes um but again it's just linen and i like the idea of the sleeves if i can get hold of them <laughs> i like the idea of the sleeves and stuff as well i think it's really really pretty i think it's really smart and again with a nice pair of trainers i'm hoping that it's going to look all right this was 22 pounds um, a little bit more expensive for Primark, but I think with everything, um, prices are going up and stuff. So I just hope for Primark they're putting their prices up. They have been for a little while, I think, though. But the quality, um, some of the quality is a lot better, but then some of the quality still isn't that good. Not too sure about this one, guys. This one's a little bit tight. Probably should have sized up. I wouldn't mind if I picked the 12 though. And then I thought, oh no, we'll get the 10. It's a little bit tight on the back. Um, I thought, like, yeah, definitely could have sized up. A little bit disappointed that there's no pocket yet again, because I tend, I do like a pocket. Um, but this is a little bit see-through as well. And she can, I can see my from me, but I have got black underwear on. With white underwear or something, it probably wouldn't be as bad, but... I'm not sure about this one. What do you think, guys? Um, I can't really see. Now, my arms are a bit bigger because I do the gym and stuff. So this is a little bit tight. But I am not 100% sure on this. I might need to take it back and size up if I'm going to keep it. Um, belt, I think I would definitely, definitely change the belt. Um, but if you can see on here, it's a little bit... It's a little bit snug, like here, um, and on here. So, yeah, I think on here and here. <laughs> I definitely would need to size up a bit because I like, I don't, I don't like anything like to hug a fit in. Um, excuse the Xbox, it's got a mind of its own. It's just letting me know it's still there. Um, yeah, I think if I was going to keep it, um, I'd have to. That's the back of it. I mean, it's not too long. It's actually a really nice dress, but I think I'm going to have to size up on it. 
So that's this one. But I will have a look properly in the mirror and I'll let you know what I think as well. But let me know what you think in the comments. Should I keep it size up, get a different one? They do have this in the black. Um, it's actually really soft as well. It's not as itchy as the other one. I, I do like this one. Let me know what you think, guys. And then I picked up this little two-piece. Um, it's knitted. Now, I think this is more beachwear than anything. Again, it is Paula Echevarria. Um, but we've got like the... little waistcoat to go with it which is actually really really pretty now i think this with possibly um a black swimsuit underneath it or even like a black body um would look really really nice but if you're going on holiday they also do this in a beige as well but all the sizes in the beige were out but i know the lady behind the till she says that they do them online so if you can't find it in the store you can order them online um, I picked this up in a large, I'm feeling it might be a little bit too big because normally I'm around about medium but I do like to size up with things um, but we'll try it on anyways because you never know, it could fit us alright. This was £6 and the pants were £10 and I picked the pants up in a small so we'll see what this looks like. I have a feeling they're going to be really long in the leg though because I'm only five foot three. I think again I found... Oh. But I think again I found something that I actually really like. I think it's quite cute. Um, this is, I mean it's a little bit big. Pop my hair back. This is it on. It's a little bit, I don't know if it's shown a little bit too skin, too much skin for my liking. I think this is more holiday vibes, but it might look nice in my wardrobe with um if I decide I'm going away anywhere. On holiday abroad and stuff it is a little bit excuse my bra but it's a little bit big on the arms um but other than that it's actually really comfortable this is i probably could have done with a medium but you know what i don't i'm not mad about it i'm not mad at it it's it's kind of like and these are the pants the pants are like in the small seem to fit quite well and they're actually not that long in the leg i don't know if you can see but with like a pair of sandals or even a pair of like a wedge like a nice wedge or I normally wear like um, a shoe with um, a bit of a platform like a platform wedge or something that would actually look really really nice so, do we think they're see-through in the booty area what do we think oh yeah oh yeah you could definitely see I can see the tag but I think if you, I definitely, it's definitely swimwear. It is definitely holiday wear. It's not like what you're going to wear every day to whatever. And I mean, I, I suppose you'd even wear it if you're brave enough to a nightclub. You know, if you're going out, I don't know what do people wear these days because I don't really get to go out much. Um, I can't remember the last time I was at a nightclub. But yeah, definitely for holiday. And they do it in a beige as well. And I think it's really nice. It's really soft. I like it and you've got like your two buttons here and it kind of hangs so you're not seeing too much as well very nice very nice indeed um but again let me know in the comments guys what do you think keep or return yes or nay <laughs> and finally we have I've just popped them on this is like a little cami from River Island I picked it up in a 12 as you can see we've got lace here it's a little bit big here but what I need to do is, is sort the straps out ignore my old Matalan bra underneath I actually wear these ones for work because they're comfortable and stuff and you don't um because I work in a care home you get sweaty these like you don't sweat as much with these on but yeah this is actually I couldn't find anything else I did have a body on but it was a black body um so I've just kind of like took it off and shove this on instead <laughs> um but this is this is the back it needs like probably yeah i'll have to adjust it a little bit on the straps and stuff because it's got adjustable straps this was 20 pounds i think they do it in a black as well um but i could only find the white and i do love a little cami i think you know you can judge them up and you can judge them down and you can wear them for night and stuff like that and then these are the jeans 
Um, these are just a relaxed straight fit and they just sit just under my belly button so they're not too much of a high rise. Um, I picked these up in a 12 short because River Island do do a 12. They do like a short, a long and a regular. So I got these in the short because I am quite short legs. Um, and the fit is, I love them. Um, I tried the tens on, I did get into the tens, but you know, when they're a little bit snug, as so I thought, right, I, I like, I want a bit of movement in my jeans and stuff. And I am aware that when you wash jeans, because this doesn't have any lycra in it, um, the content to kind of like shrink a little bit, if that makes sense. So these were £42, um, but I do like River Island jeans, I love them. And they do them in a lighter denim as well. And I was thinking, my thoughts are, with a nice pair of trainers, my trainers. Oh gosh, these are just, I've just put them on with my green, with my Adidas. And what do we think of my lovelies? I actually really like them, I love them. Um, yeah, and I think they fit just nicely because I don't like my trouser leg or my jean leg too short then I don't like it too long if that makes sense so that's what I like about River Island um, and also can I just say that if you have a blue light card it's 20% off this week for anybody you know if, if you've got a blue light card um, so you save quite a bit of money I think I saved about £12 something which is actually really really good so the jeans should have been like 42 but I got them for 30 summer and the top should have been 20 but I got that for £15 something something like that anyways but yeah it's 20 percent off 12 pounds something all in all um which is really really good and i just think with a nice belt if i took it kind of like in on there with a nice belt for spring summer with a nice jacket just imagine a nice blazer or a nice like bomber jacket or something or even my leather like my leather jacket and then a nice handbag my shades let's have a look let's set them up set, set, set it in motion i'll tell you what guys hang on she says picking bags out so we've got my bomber jacket here so just imagine put my bomber jacket on and then i will put my sleeves up because i like my sleeves rolled up a nice belt which i haven't haven't got um <laughs> my belts are all upstairs a nice handbag she says and then we're gonna go with the sunglasses and we are spring ready I love it I love these jeans as well what do we think guys <laughs> or am I overthinking things as usual because I do that often as well does anybody else do that you start to like you overthink things in your head and stuff um but yeah what do we think i really like it so and that's the bum on them the bum's nice as well the pockets because the pockets sit up like quite high as well it's gonna make you look like you've got you've actually got a bum um she says because as, as she tries to Sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Because I think sometimes if your pockets are in the wrong area, it, it can make you look, it can make it look like you haven't got a bottom. Um, these pockets are quite, they're not bad, yeah, but they're quite high up. So they sit here and here, um, depending, I think, if they look smaller, they, make, they, can, they can make it look like you don't have a bum and stuff. But yeah, I like that, I like them. keep or get rid mm, that is the question so I think I might do a little reel for my Instagram as well um, or I'll do like a couple of outfits for my Instagram um, so if anybody doesn't follow me over on Instagram why not what are you waiting for 
and you are new to my channel i would love it if you could give me a following over on instagram guys i'm gonna end the video now because it is a school day and i do have kids to pick up and stuff and i want to get this video edited for you um and i want to get something to eat before i have to do all of that so forgive me and i think this has gone on for, I, th I think this is quite a, a bit of a long video anyways and look i'm looking for my pockets but they're there so i hope you enjoyed the video if you're still with me and you got this far into it then thank you so much i really do appreciate your support um and i can't thank all of you enough again for being with me on this journey and yeah just be my friend um so i'm going to say take care lots of love if you haven't already i would love if you could subscribe to my channel and come with me on this journey and also please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up i'll see you all in the next vlog well i'll see you next week yeah take care lots of love stay safe bye